If there's one skill that separates good hockey players from great ones, it's skating. Good technique allows a player to skate harder and faster with less effort, thus allowing the player to perform to their maximum potential without having to think about the mechanics of skating. The efficiency of the skating stride depends on applying a few fundamental principles to develop quickness, speed, and strength, which are all essential to being a better skater. C cuts, left foot, right foot. C cuts are a basic skill that can help younger players with their forward skating. The C cut is an important skill to master because it's a necessary component of many other skills such as crossovers and propulsion while turning. The basic C cut involves using one leg as the glide leg and the other as the drive leg. The drive leg must recover directly under the body next to the glide leg. C cuts alternating. The next progression of the basic C cut is to alternate the leg. C cuts both feet. The third progression of basic C cuts is for both feet to perform the action simultaneously. C-cuts, pulling partner. Having the players pair up and pull each other while performing C-cuts is an easy way to offer resistance. If done properly, the added resistance will help players perform a more precise C-cut, allowing them to concentrate on doing the technical aspects of the skill correctly. Slalom, C-cuts, narrow. Slalom sea cuts narrow is a similar motion to downhill skiing. It is in fact an unnatural skating motion because the feet are always together and parallel. This is a great skill for helping players develop their coordination and achieve better control of their skates. Slalom sea cuts wide. This exercise is similar to slalom sea cuts narrow. The difference is a wider pattern for the slalom and the sea cut is more exaggerated. Slalom pulling partner. Using the slalom technique while pulling a partner is a great exercise that adds resistance while also building strength. C cuts, back foot, cross unders. This combination skill involves two actions. The first is a simple C cut on the inside edge. The second is a C cut on the outside edge of the same skate. This second action is a difficult skill because creating the additional propulsion requires that the entire skate blade remain in contact with the ice while the outside edge of the heel is driving downward. C cuts, alternate, cross unders. The next progression of C cuts is both feet taking turns performing the C cut and cross under. C cuts, heel only. A good exercise for improving quickness of the feet is to perform C cuts with the heel of the skate. By concentrating on only using their heels, players can greatly improve the strength of their push. Forward striding. Taking fast, short strides helps to develop powerful skating. The basic forward stride is derived from a sequential extension of the hip, knee, and ankle 
in a lateral thrust. The knee of the gliding leg must be fully flexed, extending beyond the toe of the skate. The weight of the body needs to transfer over the striding leg at the beginning of each stride. The ankle and foot of the striding leg should be completely extended to the tip of the toe. The skate of the recovery leg should be kept low to the ice, passing under the center of gravity. It is common to see younger players use a high heel kick after the stride, but this makes the recovery time longer. As speed increases, longer and less frequent strides may be taken to maintain speed. Exaggerated stride. The exaggerated stride is a good technique for getting players to slow down and lengthen the movements of the forward stride. This not only helps them get a better feel for how these movements should flow together, but they can also put more focus on the push, glide, and recovery stages. Forward striding, pulling partner. Forward striding while pulling or pushing a partner is another technique that will force a longer stride. The player doing the pulling typically leans forward more, which causes them to use longer strides. The resistance also helps build leg strength. Weave crossovers with pylons. A good exercise for working on edge control is performing crossovers while weaving around pylons. It helps players concentrate on gliding on their outside edges and the pylons keep the players in controlled movements where speed is not important. Weave cross-unders with pylons. This drill can be used to help develop edge control. It promotes agility and coordination. The feet are constantly crossing each other and alternating pushes off the inside and outside edges. Forward striding, hands on stick on ice. This is a good technique for both starting and forward striding because keeping the hands on the ice forces a strong toe push and a long stride. As players further develop, they should be able to stand up from this position in one motion and continue on in a full stride. Stride and bend. The stride and bend technique is a great exercise for developing leg strength and balance. As players continue to practice this technique, they will naturally adopt the deep knee bend and incorporate it into their normal stride. Jump stride. The jump stride is a plyometric skating technique used to develop agility, leg strength, and an explosive stride. The key to this exercise is to jump from the inside edge of one skate to the inside edge of the other without taking a stride between jumps. <laughs> 